Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here from the Toy Car Collector. That's right, the ToyCarCollector.com. That's me, where you will find fantastic Redline Hot Wheels and Matchbox, Johnny Lightnings, and lots of other fun toy cars, mostly from the 50s, 60s, and 1970s. Old stuff, that's right, old stuff for old people, and it, I don't care if you're young, you can buy them too. And you can sell me your toys, especially if they're old. I like the old ones, but today... Today is something a little different than what I usually talk about. Usually I talk about things that I bought, things that I have, and different little informational type of videos. Today is something fantastic. It is a 35 car order that one of my customers uh, placed. One of my customers placed an order for 35 cars. Now, wouldn't you love to have 35 cars, especially if they were all beautiful like this order? This is 35 cars placed by one customer all in one day and this does happen occasionally not too often 35 but typically a person will order four or five cars maybe two and uh, they love getting red lines from Dave Williamson the toy car collector so let's start with that one over there okay so let's go over the 35 cars one at a time let's starting with the custom fleet side in aqua this one is a hong kong model as evidenced by the square holes on the bottom the blue windows in there and the black in there i'm not going to give you a lot of detail on these cars but i just thought i'd give you the detail on that one and this is a very 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 fine looking fleet side it's getting harder and harder every day to find a nice looking fleet side like this so this is a nice nice car to get now let's bring out the uh let's bring back the Tell you what, let's bring back this guy right here and we'll slide these cars around on the turntable. All right, next car up, coming up. It's a custom Woody in red. Number two is a custom Woody in red. This baby's in mint condition and she is beautiful. It is so hard to get a beautiful, bright colored Woody. You would hardly believe it unless you collect these things and then you know exactly what I'm talking about. How about this Woody, Rose? Rose Woody, another one of my top-notch cars, top of the line, red or Rose Woody in mint condition. Looks like it just came out of a blister pack yesterday, and it is a beauty. Here's a gold 36 Ford Coupe, kind of a honey gold color, really, really nice and shiny. Got a little toning on the back of the deck there, and then also they usually have that little nick there from the door opening like that and banging against the back. But it is so hard to get a shiny front and a nice pretty gold color. And it is a beauty, beauty. Number four in this lot. Number five. Number five is Indie Eagle. Look at this. Indie Eagle with all original decals on it. That's crazy. Look at all those perfectly put on there. That is fantastic. These things are so much cooler when they have all their decals on it. It's nearly unbelievable. And number six in the collection purchase today aqua custom volkswagen custom volkswagen i said that wrong aqua volkswagen beach bomb that's right volkswagen beach bomb now this is a sideboard beach bomb which is what most beach bombs are the rearboard beach bombs do not have this box around the edges and are quite rare it's actually completely different than this beach bomb except for maybe kind of the nose that's about the only thing that's very similar and uh, that, of course, is a rare prototype. This is your standard issue. This is the beach bomb that we all had when we were kids. And it's our beloved beach bomb. Next up, Nomad, classic Nomad 1970. Look at this one, teal, aqua, aqua, teal. What color is it not? You know, I almost thought of something that rhymed, but I just couldn't do that. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be that rhymy. But this is aqua teal, aqua teal. Which color is it, and what does it reveal? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Whoa, look at that shine on there. That is fantastic. I am gonna talk a little fast because I'd like to get this whole video made, and and it's pretty hard to get 35 cars uh, all done in under 10 minutes. So this is a Jack Rabbit special from 1970. Jack Rabbit special. That is a super popular car. Super popular. How about the Mantis? Mantis is considered a concept vehicle because no one actually has a car like this. And this is Hong Kong. Hong Kong is very difficult to get with a shiny base like that and beautiful paint on top. This one's a blister pack pull. So all you have to do to get a car like this, this particular one I think I sold for 49 bucks, is you have to buy a blister pack for about 120 bucks. Hope it has good paint. Then pop it open and there you go. 
one beautiful mantis mantis i don't know why i priced that so low that was crazy but some people have a knack of finding all the best values on my website and this particular customer is one of those people who can go through my website pick out all the best cars and take them home put them in his collection and enjoy them for the rest of his life that's how long we are planning to keep our red lines of course is forever forever is how long we love our red lines love 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 them okay that's the first batch let's get some more for this order of 35 cars there's a couple of heavyweights including a yellow dump truck yellow dump truck as i said this customer has a knack for finding all my best deals and he picked up a couple of these yellow dump trucks look at this one this one's got the orange bottom this one's got the brown bottom nice variation nice way to go get one of each and there you are two dump trucks let's set these on the return table and spin them around next one up mighty maverick in yellow mighty maverick in yellow it's got a little toning on the side there but this thing is minty it looks like it was just made yesterday this thing is so pretty passenger side is nice and clear top is nice and clear the hood look at that nice shiny motor nice shiny base beautiful spoiler on that that's a nice car yellow hard to get a decent yellow anymore these days any more these days a yellow paddy wagon comes up next Everyone loves the paddy wagon. Everybody recognizes the paddy wagon as well as the Red Baron. Are some of the most popular cars. Let's chase it around with the camera. There we go. Yellow. What am I saying? Yellow. Blue. <laughs> paddy wagon. That is nice. And do you know why they call it the paddy wagon? Well, apparently that's a slang on Irish people. Because Irish people were getting drunk and they used to throw them in the police vehicle. And so that was a nickname for Irish people was paddy. And that's why they call it the paddy wagon so it's kind of a kind of a slang term there folks kind of a slang probably shouldn't use it but that's the way it is that's history for you all right seasider here it comes up lime on this one very very hard to find this lime color light green is a little harder most of the other colors are, are actually most of the other colors are easier than this one although any seasider without dark spotting uh, is very difficult to find and this one is quite attractive look at that wouldn't you love to have a seasider that pretty well you could have had a seasider that pretty but you waited too long and now it's sold let's see next out of the seas after the seasider comes the evil weevil this is from the spoiler series look how perfect this one is yellow evil weevil another car that you probably wish you would have bought but you know come on over to the website toycarcollector.com and take a look at all the red lines i have that's right toycarcollector.com take a look at all the red lines i have don't miss out on the next beautiful car that comes up i've got lots more to list i've got lots more to list how about this hood hood in magenta magenta hood right there in hong kong with the blue windows this is very pretty for a Hong Kong. Look at that. So you could have had this one too. It was sitting there for a couple of weeks for sale. You didn't buy it. So you missed out. And maybe next time, come and take a look. You know, I have a new page where I list everything new. Come on, take a look at the new page and you may find some fantastic cars there. Wow, look at this. Yeah, this is so cool. This is neat. I never noticed that. This kind of has like, it's goldish looking down inside the pipes. Gives a sort of a two-tone look. That's really cool. Kind of kind of a dull look on the bottom, but not from being touched. This baby is nearly untouched. This thing is a blister pack pull condition. Let's compare these two motors. Look at that. They just kind of look a little different. This one's got a little gold action going on down in there. It looks really cool. It's amazing how beautiful Redline Hot Wheels are. They all have their type of beauty. They all have their own beauty. Ice tea, look at that. Really hard to get a beautiful iced tea like this. Wow, I'm gonna regret selling this one, I am sure. This one is so nice. I've never, oh, I should have kept this one. Too many Christmas. Wow, that is so nice. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, this one's not quite as nice, but very, very nice. Actually, I take that back. Look at these things, they're almost identical. Almost identical, and they have a little bit slightly different shade. Both have beautiful bases. Look at that. Don't you wish you got one of these? Well, you could have got one of these. So come on and take a look at my website. There's so many cool cars to get. The more cool cars you buy, the more cool cars I can buy again. Because that's basically what I do. I look for cool cars to buy. 
and then I got to sell them so I can buy some more. It is just the way it's worked, and it's worked that way for 25 years because I love getting new cars and got to keep getting them, getting them, getting them, getting them. I love red lines. Absolutely love them. How about the Jet Threat? Look at this one. This one has reproduction stickers on the side, which make it look original, makes it look just like it was supposed to look, and it has a reproduction window. Save you some money, but look how beautiful this is. It's kind of a dark yellow. Is it a lime? It's kind of a limeish. It's actually yellow. It's darkened all over. That's called toning, the, where the metal is no longer looking polished underneath, and the motor is no longer looking polished. And I'm not even sure if these Hong Kong models actually all came shiny at one time. It's hard to imagine that they would have been completely shiny and then they would have turned this color. But uh, it makes it a, makes it a lot of variety. And when you're collecting Hot Wheels, you're always looking for something new, a little variety, a little color change, a little parts change. Take a look at this 71 model snorkel with the little basket on the back, the cherry picker. We love this snorkel. Although I can never spell it properly. I always want to put L-E, but it's E-L. Snork E-L. Snork E-L. Snork E-L. It's got the name on it. Let's take a look. No, it just says the heavyweights on the base. The heavyweights. Hot Wheels, the heavyweights. These heavyweight series cars are just super, super neat. Now, here's another spoiler car, the Sugar Caddy. Everyone loves the Sugar Caddy. Now, typically, there's a ton of blue ones of these. Every other color is kind of harder to get. And to get anything decent like this and really pretty shape like this is almost impossible. Sugar Caddy. Let's see. Let's take that sticker off the bottom of that. That's what somebody had on it when I bought it. And there is the Sugar Caddy. This thing is beautiful. It was in my collection. A lot of Most of the cars start out in my collection. I like to put the cars in my collection. And then later on when I get other cars, I take ones that are in there out put new ones in just always rotating the stock rotating the stock in the collection how about a couple of waste wagons where did the waste wagons go waste wagons where did you go hey check this out look at this ambulance from 1970 two ambulances in this lot two ambulances a red one to go with that and a blue one look at that wow you could have had one of those. As a matter of fact, I think I have another blue one. So if you're interested in a blue ambulance, come on over. Come on down and see to Dave. <laughs> you know, the other day somebody said I reminded them of one of those car salesmen from the 70s. Well, you know, I did like those guys when I was a kid. I've always liked the guys on TV that sell cars. I love cars. And I wouldn't mind being a car salesman myself as long as I didn't have to rip people off because I don't like that. We like fair deals around here. None of that used car sales business no look at this oh shoot this one's from the 74 to 77 series the oh shoot typically that goes along with your staff car and your army set and that is let's see two more in this lot wait a minute and then there's some 73s look at this wasted wagon no it's not a wasted wagon it's waste wagon i got a bunch of them in i i Listed them all so this fella could see what I had, and he picked the green one, which turns out to be my favorite, the green. Oh, well, there it goes. Out it goes. Cars in and cars out. As a matter of fact, today, I'm not getting any Hot Wheels today, but I am getting 300 Matchbox today. I think it's 300. Maybe it's 250. After about 100, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's just so much work, but it's fun to look at them, fun to make a video of them, and fun to share it all with you guys. Here is the Department of Sanitation, the Waste Wagon. Does it say Waste Wagon on it? Nope, they all just say the heavyweights. The heavyweights. Let's put it over there. Now, this collection, this purchase, included some 73 models. The 73 models, of course, are the enamel series. Enamel paint. No longer the specter flame of the earlier days. This is the enamel. And that is the light blue. That is the light blue. Now, the light blue does come in different shades. This particular one appears to be painted uh, with a white undercoat, possibly, or no undercoat. Some of them have white undercoat, and some of them don't, so it makes the colors look different. Now, here's also a light blue, but it's much darker. This is from the Shell Promo series, which are the models that were made specifically for Shell gas stations to give away. With Philip, buy eight gallons of gas for 29 cents a gallon. 30, well, let's see, 1970 would have been about 49 cents a gallon. 
And then you get a free Hot Wheel car. Pretty good deal, I'd say. $4 worth of gas and a free Hot Wheel car. All right, and here is the, oh, that was the Rocket by Baby, by the way. Rocket by Baby. And this is the Sweet 16. 16 cylinder engine on the front of the Sweet 16. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. Wow, we, wow, wow. I don't know why, you know, they copyrighted this one in 1970, but it's a 73 model. They didn't make it till 1973 or maybe late 1972. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? I just know that red lines are beautiful and I want them all. I want them all. I can't keep them all, but I want them all. So I just keep getting them and getting them and getting them and let some go. I'll let them go. Here's a hot pink on the, on the splitting image. Splitting image is a super favorite of mine. As are every other red line ever made, it's a super favorite of mine. They made red lines from 1968 to 1977, and that was it, and that is the end of an era. After that, things changed, and you have a different kind of Hot Wheels. But look how pretty this is, hot pink. I don't know if the pink shows up properly on the screen. I can't really tell because it looks a little too bright on my screen that I'm looking at. Hopefully it'll look right on the computer. And let's take a look. Is that all the cars that this, yep, I think it is. All the cars that go in this lot, 35 different red lines. So if you'd like 35 red lines, give me a call. Dave Williamson at toycarcollector.com. Or if you just like one red line, that's fine. If you have a question about red lines, that's okay too. You can call or text 503-956-3708 and email toycarcollector at gmail.com. So thanks for watching this video and you all have a great day and we will see you on the next video. Bye now.